Greetings everyone, the Goods Tonight here, and today we're talking about the Sandpiper of California Bug Out Bag. So, again, another bit of a nostalgic video here. We got this massive boy right here. And originally, while I was still enlisted, I had the black one. Because it was easier to wear in civilian attire than Coyote Brown, and it didn't give away your military esque nearly as much as a Coyote Brown bag. So that was kind of cool. This one has a few updated features, being a newer version. And by updated features, I mean like one in particular that was overtly obvious. So, <clears throat> Sandpiper of California, bug out bag. Expensive on Amazon, cheap as hell on the PX. So, might be a chance to uh, actually shill for uh, shopmyexchange.com, where you can get this relatively cheap if you are a veteran. So, fantastic little bag here. What do we got? So, bug out bag, designed to be act just absolutely gargantuan, ginormous, humongous, humongous, um, monolithic. Other synonyms for large. So what do we got? So we got this big old bag here. It's got a little carry handle on the side, so that's pretty neat. You got a strap here if you want to put away the uh, belt and the strap here. These are um, conce uh, concealable. You can pop them in the zipper here, shove these straps in there, zip, zip that shut. Your belt over here, also a space on the side. The belt is padded. A little ventilation, so that helped out. Back when I was in Hawaii and had my uh, black version of this bag, that made all the difference because this thing is going to get sweaty. And the key upgrade from the uh, time I had my old black version of the bag, which I think I got on Foster back in 2010, so like 10 years ago. Uh, one of the big, the only, well, I say big upgrades, but really the only immediately visible upgrade is they added a spot for your hydration pouch and you just run the hose out here and connect it on there. So you can add some water to stay hydrated while carrying this thing. Now the bag alone with nothing in it is still relatively heavy holding it up like this. It's a bit of a pain on that shoulder. So I was going to talk about you got a big old handle here, straps there. You got four straps here that'll help you uh, cinch everything down and keep it stable. And in the back underneath the uh, sh shoulder straps you have these pockets here and what those do is they hold two aluminum bars that serve as the uh, Basically the frame support for all the stuff on the bag. So you do have a frame. And having a frame makes a big deal when you're carrying insane amounts of weight. Which is always a big thing with the Yobi packs and whatnot to have a frame. So, we got a little tag here. So that's where you can put your identification information stuff. You got a big old Velcro strap here. So you can put any uh, patches or stuff you got. So you can identify your bag quickly from other people. And yeah, so inside the top compartment here, you got your sock sticker down here at the put this part. And if you pop open all these straps, you can open this up entirely all the ways down to the bottom. And you've got two straps in here that look a bit like this here, and that's what you'll use to strap down any of your immediate laptops or anything the closest to the back, and everything else will sit over on top of those. Um, in addition, if you fill this bag up, and it's absolutely ginormous, and it gets heavy and big, oh yeah, you got a security zippers here too, so you get a little lock or a zip tie through there to help keep your stuff safe. You can open the secondary zipper here on the back and that's your expansion. That's going to give you extra material to add more space in case you got to carry even more than you normally would want to. So this bag gets absolutely huge. So if you need to bug out, you're carrying pretty much everything you need. And it's insanely large, so you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Although fit a sleeping system on the outside of this is a, bit of, is a bit of a pain. With these straps, you could probably find a way to rig a... Uh, ISO mat on there, but getting the actual sleeping bag, that's going to be... Well, they got these uh, straps down here. I'd assume there's a way you can rig those to uh, get a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, sleeping bag on there somehow, but never tried it. Presumably doable, though. Oh, yeah, also got tons of molly here to add stuff. Uh, let's see, next zipper up on this side. This one contains a few little extra pockets. Big pocket here, smaller pocket at the bottom, and a thin pocket here for documents. Medical supplies, really anything you could possibly need. So there's your first two big pockets. And those are the ones that are being to be held predominantly down from here. Then from there, the last two. You got this one here that's more towards the outside. What are you doing? These slippers do get stuck from time to time, so bear that in mind. This one's your more organizational pocket. You got your mesh baggies, your bright yellow. This big old pocket here. You can fit all sorts of pens, cards, lighters, survival supplies in there. And then, last but not least, 
You also got this big old front pocket here so you can slide a few more extra things. So you have an absolutely monolithic backpack that you can fit anything and everything in. Throw that on real quick. Don't need the side strap. I should take that strap off. I have it on there just so I don't lose it if you're wondering. Yeah, strap those on down. Strap the belt. Strap the chest. And boom, you got a huge monolithic backpack ready to go wherever you need to go, which is probably towards safety. Oh, they added in these uh, elastic straps. These are a big, I'm a big fan of these on almost practically everything because they're easy to use and they work fantastic. So there's some down here too. Yeah, so that helps keep the straps contained and you're ready to go. You're ready to go party, you're ready to go hard. And you can fill this up with anything and everything you could possibly need. Literally just grab it, run out the front door and get to safety or wherever you're planning on surviving for the next period of time. So, cool thing to have, but it does not have quick detach straps. These are all linked in here with a metal, a metal tab and um, a clip. So, they might not look like it, but these things actually hold up fantastic. My old black one never fell apart and only got rid of it because I ran out of room in the apartment until I needed a new one. But it doubles great as luggage. So this is actually what I took to California on my last trip a couple days ago, and it held everything fantastic and brought it all back to and from relatively safe that's a cool bag so if you're looking for a huge bug out bag um i mean unless you have an alice pack lying around i would definitely get one of these as a very modern fantastic bag so if you have any questions just let me know down in the comments below otherwise here is a cool bag picture that i'm going to use as a thumbnail and yeah stay shivers everyone i'll see you in the next video like, comment, subscribe, if you want to. I'm not forcing you, but it'd be cool if you did. So cheers, bye!